Good afternoon, sir. My presentation is in Chapter 4, Question 2, and I will be talking about protozoans, the different groups and characteristics. By definition, protozoans are unicelled animals found worldwide in most habitats. Most species are free living, but all higher animals are infected in one or more, with one or more species of protozoans. Infections range from asymptomatic to life-threatening, or depending on the specific on the species and strain and strain of the parasite and the resistance of the host. It is necessary to note that protozoans can be pathogenic or non-pathogenic. There are four groups of protozoans, and these are amoeboid, flagellates, ciliates, and sporozoa. So I will be addressing each group separately. First being amoeboid. They are unicellular jelly-like protozoa found in aquatic habitats and in most soil, most moist soil areas. They're capable of changing shapes mainly by extending and retracting their pseudopods. There are pretty basically many kinds of amoeboids, but I will make mention of two kinds, and this is the E histolytica, which are pathogenic, and the E. coli, which are non-pathogenic. Amoeboids use their pseudopods for movement, and they also use their pseudopods to engulf and capture prey. They do not have mouths, so they feed by ingesting their prey. And this is by a process called phagocytosis. Flagellates are organisms which have one or more whip like organelles called flagelli. They may be solitary, colonial, free living, or parasitic. There are different kinds, but I made mention of Trypanosoma and the common Trichomonas vag vaginalis and Gada lambia. Lamblia. They use their flagellites for movement and for feeding. There are two kinds of uh, flagellates, and sometimes they feed by auto some are autotropic and they produce their own food, and the heterotropic ones they ingest other organisms. Ciliates are the third kind, and ciliates are protozoans which possess hair like organelles called cilia. And the different kinds range from those that swim, the free swimming, the free the uh, crawling ones, and the stalk ones. They use their cilia for movement and for feeding. Cilias, they use the cilia as well for feeding. They eat organisms such as bacteria and algae. And the food is moved with the help of the cilia through the mouth into something called a gullet. The last forms of protozoans are the sporozoans. So unlike the other ones, sporozoans do not move as in they don't have no cilia or flagellates of, that they use to move. So they are mostly immobile, even though sometimes they, since they do not possess any locomotive organelles, they are non mortal They feed by absorbing either dissolved food ingested by the host or the host cytoplasm fluid. And this is because they mostly live within a host. And the common example is plasmodium, which causes malaria. Thank you.